Mind uploading, often perceived as a futuristic concept, involves the process of digitally replicating an individual's mental state through whole brain emulation using a brain scan. This virtual brain would operate similarly to the original and would be capable of conscious thought. While this notion may seem far-fetched, considerable research is being conducted in the areas of neuroscience and computer science to make this a reality. Innovations in animal brain mapping, supercomputing, virtual reality, brain-computer interfaces, and dynamic information extraction from fully functional brains are leading us closer to the goal of mind uploading. Advocates argue that we already have many of the technological elements necessary for mind uploading, with the rest still within the scope of engineering possibility. This concept can be approached in two ways, the copy and upload method or the copy and delete method, a process involving a gradual substitution of neurons. In the latter, the biological brain is replaced until it no longer exists and is taken over by a computer program. This digital mind could exist in a virtual reality, a simulated world, or within a robotic or biological body. Some futurists and transhumanists view mind uploading as a vital proposed immortality technology, digital immortality, and a possible solution for interspecies survival. Additionally, mind uploading aims to provide enduring backup for our mental state, assist with interstellar space travel, and safeguard human culture against global disasters. As a topic of computational neuroscience and neuroinformatics, whole brain emulation is reviewed as an approach to artificial general intelligence and potential superintelligence. Offerings such as Seed AI, a concept not derived from existing brains, permit uploads to think faster than biological humans, if not more intelligently. Futurists argue that a society of such uploads could precipitate a technological quantum leap or singularity. This vision of mind uploading frequently appears as a critical feature in numerous science fiction literature, films, and games. Mind uploading is intriguing and highly theoretical notion of duplicating or transferring human consciousness into a non-biological form, like an advanced computer. This concept is rooted in the belief that consciousness is a natural phenomenon arising from mathematical, logical, and physical laws rather than some ethereal or mystical essence. This perspective is endorsed by distinguished experts such as Koch, Tononi, Hofstadter, Hawkins, Minsky, Cohen, and Linus, who anticipate that future technological developments could render computers capable of conscious thought. Many theorists have postulated brain models and calculated the substantial computational power required for such simulations, leading to speculative conclusions that consciousness uploading could potentially be realized within a few decades if technological advancements keep pace, however, as off. December 2022, this remains purely speculative, as our understanding and ability to emulate human emotions remains in uncharted territory. The potential benefits of mind uploading are significant, it could theoretically unshackle the mind from the physical limitations and mortality of the biological body, potentially enabling consciousness to exist beyond the lifespan of the individual. This perspective was explored as early as 1971 by George M. Martin. It also opens up extraordinary possibilities, such as creating uploaded astronauts to endure the hostile conditions of space travel, enabling virtually unlimited interstellar exploration. However, mind uploading is not simply about data preservation, but data acquisition from the human brain. Approaches such as loosely coupled offloading could be used to extract and potentially replicate the mental contents of a brain. However, the computational demands of such a task are predicted to be immense, given the complexity and extensive network of neurons in a human brain. Even Henry Markram, lead researcher of the Blue Brain Project, admitted that creating an intelligent neural network is not their projected target, purely due to the computational challenges involved. While advocates for mind uploading point to Moore's law to support the attainability of the required computational power within decades, the precise computational demands for running an uploaded human mind are still vastly unknown, challenging the credibility of such projections nevertheless. The captivating concept of mind uploading continues to inspire and fuel scientific curiosity amidst the expanses of the unknown. Following his significant progress in replicating a fraction of a rat's brain, Markram, the spearhead of the Blue Brain Project, made a bold prediction in 2009. He postulated that a fully functional, artificially engineered human brain could potentially be constructed within the forthcoming decade. Unfortunately, just shy of two years into the project, it was discovered to lack proper management, 
with the project's promises considered exaggerated, leading to Markram's dismissal. The simulation model's required computational power greatly depended on factors like the level of the model's scale. To model and simulate a particular individual's brain, a brain map or connectivity database showing the neuron connections was indispensable. Ideally, this map should encompass all aspects of the nervous system, spinal cord, sensory receptors, and muscle cells by 2010. That capability of destructive scanning of smaller tissue samples from a mouse brain existed. Simultaneously, the challenge arose when trying to extrapolate the electrical and chemical signal status of the synapses and neurons if short-term and working memories were associated with continuous or regular neuron firing in intraneural dynamic processes. This could potentially result in the uploaded mind experiencing a sense of memory loss of events and mental processes that had occurred immediately before the brain scanning. Estimations forecasted a comprehensive brain map to require less than 2 X1016 bytes, 20,000 TB. This would store the data of all the neuron connections, the synapse type, and the synapse weight for each of the brain's 1015 synapses. However, accurately predicting the volume of binary data necessary to realistically represent a functioning human mind might be impossible due to the underlying biological complexities of true brain function such as the neuron's epigenetic states, protein components with numerous functional states, etc. One potential technique for mind uploading could be serial sectioning. Here, the brain tissue and perhaps other parts of the nervous system would be frozen, scanned, and analyzed layer by layer using a cryotramicrotome. This captures the structure of the neurons and their connections, even though it would be time-consuming and require considerable effort. Research is currently being done to automate the collection and microction and microscopy of serial sections. The scans would be studied subsequently, and a model of the neural net would be remade in the system that the mind was being uploaded into. With cutting-edge neuroimaging technologies such as functional MRE, FRE, and magnetoencephalography, MEG, scientists are on a path towards creating intricate thread maps of brain activity. These technologies map blood flow changes and electrical currents in the brain. Respectively, their results often contribute to building non-invasive, non-destructive thread models of the brain. fMRI and MEG are commonly used together for comprehensive function maps of the brain when performing complex cognitive tasks. While today's imaging technologies don't yet have the spatial resolution required for such a detailed scan, we can expect promising future advancements to significantly enhance both spatial and temporal resolutions. The pursuit of brain simulation is progressively advancing, with partial and complete simulations of certain animals, such as the C. E. elegans roundworm, mouse, and drosophila fruit fly, already underway. The Brain and Mind Institute's Blue Brain Project of the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, Switzerland, is aiming to construct a synthetic brain by reverse engineering mammalian brain circuitry. The philosophy driving the concept of mind uploading, or more accurately, mind copying, revolves around the belief that consciousness arises from information processing within the brain. In essence, consciousness is an emergent feature that results from large neural network high-level patterns of organization. In this perspective, human mind is represented by the current neural network paths and the brain synapses weights rather than by any metaphysical soul or spirit. The mind or soul can be viewed as the brain's information state, materially represented only in the sense of a computer file containing the data specifying the neural network's information state. This data can be copied from the brain in the form of a computer file and then re-implemented into a different physical form. That being said, it's crucial to note that minds are intricately adapted to their biological foundations. In a parallel analogy, mind uploading is akin to copying the temporary information state of a computer program from one computer to another. This philosophical discussion has historical roots. As far back as 1775, Thomas Reed pondered whether being, formed a hundred years after his brain had lost its original structure and made from the same materials, would be him. Even if several such beings were formed, he questioned whether they would all be him, and consequently one and the same intelligent being. The study of the neural correlates of consciousness, a specialized field within neuroscience, explores the idea that consciousness is a state-dependent feature of a yet defined complex biological system that is both highly interlinked and adaptive, while many dispute this. One particular Buddhist transhumanist James Hughes suggests that this view is valid to a certain extent. This provided the self is seen as an illusion, 
thus eradicating concerns about survival as a deterrent to mind uploading. Where this is concerned, Keith Wiley offers an intriguing argument where all minds resulting from the upload attain equal precedence for claiming the original identity, therefore. The self's continuity is determined retrospectively, strictly from a subjective standpoint. Yet, some propose that consciousness is an integral part of a scientifically undiscovered extra biological system, hence it cannot be comprehensively understood through current neurobiological constraints. Without the successful transference of consciousness, the true implementation of mind uploading or perpetual immortality remains unfeasible. A crucial byproduct of mind uploading that needs to be addressed is the creation of a mindless symbol manipulator, also referred to as a philosophical zombie instead of a conscious entity. The question then arises of whether we should assume an entity to be conscious based on its behaviors, indicative of consciousness, or its verbal affirmation of the same. It raises the question of whether there is a processing speed limit for consciousness, this enigma of consciousness leaves room for much speculation. Renowned scientists such as Kurzweil adamantly posit that the consciousness of another being can never be definitively known due to its inherent subjectivity, while other scientists propose that its origin lies in computational processes that are substrate. Neutral conversely, quite a few scientists hypothesize that consciousness may be tied to a form of quantum computation that relies on substrate. Given the uncertain nature of consciousness, Sandberg suggests approaching this with caution by adhering to the principle of assuming the most, bam, assuming that any emulated system could possess mental properties identical to the original system and treating it accordingly. Furthermore, developing emulation technology also entails various ethical dilemmas, particularly revolving around animal welfare and artificial consciousness. The necessary neuroscience development could entail animal testing, with the controversies extending to the potential suffering of the emulated animal entities, Bancroft provides a plausible argument for consciousness in brain simulations, citing the fading qualia, thought experiment proposed by David Chalmers. The morality and legal standing of partial brain emulations and neuromorphic emulations inspired by biological brains but constructed differently are subjects that invite exploration. These digital entities may be vulnerable to erasure by computer malware making them potentially easier to assassinate without physically damaging the hardware they inhabit the implications of bestowing on these emulations. The legal status and rights enjoyed by biological humans are manifold. The question of whether an emulation can inherit property and positions from a deceased originator, request euthanasia in instances of terminal illness, or have the right to marry and have children is new ground to tread. If these digital persons were to exist and were recognized legally, upholding their rights could be challenging. In an academic context, the urge to expose these digital entities to experimental conditions could be significant. Interestingly, cognitive scientist Michael Leacasuo has found that attitudes towards the concept of mind uploading are influenced by an individual's belief in an afterlife, indicating that mind uploading technology may confront traditional beliefs about divinity and immortality. The creation of these emulations could very well spark a technological competition marked by the allure of being the first to achieve breakthroughs. With emulations potentially developing faster than human decision-making can keep up, the risk of violent backlash increases this could be fueled further by potential wage depression for humans due to the rise of high-performing emulations. The tension between emulations and humans could breed mistrust and open possibilities for misinterpretation of actions even those taken with peaceful intent. Renowned author Robin Hansen, in his book The Age of Them, hypothesizes that an emulation society would primarily comprise adult personalities, optimized for long, specialized work hours. His speculations provide fascinating insights into this future society of mind uploads, where implications on basic human rights and societal harmony are vast and complex. The potential for brain emulation through advancements in neuroscience and computer hardware technologies is widely anticipated for its myriad uses. It's plausible to foresee a period where brain emulations could temporarily precede the development of non-emulation-based human-level AI. The question arises whether the progression of this emulation technology should be accelerated or decelerated. Arguing in favor of hastening the research on brain emulation, one could reason that with neuroscience being the major obstruction, Progress might be unpredictable due to reliance on new scientific breakthrough. Limited computational power implies slow, first-generation emulations that would be easier to adapt to 
while allowing for a more gradual introduction of a technology to society. Acceleration in production of hardware through improved manufacturing, 3D printing, and nanotechnology could contribute to a surplus computing overhang relative to neuroscience, a leading aid development group that has an edge in emulation technology might win the race to build the first superhuman, i.e., given more subjective time. On the flip side, arguments for retarding brain. Emulation research revolve around incubating investments in brain emulation and cognitive science thereby potentially quickening the development of uncontrolled AI risks. A 2011 A workshop found a predominant belief that neuromorphic AI would precede brain emulation based on the simplicity of manipulating individual brain components rather than reconstructing the entire brain in delay might allow more time for contemplating the implications of brain emulation and establishing cooperation, improving institutions. Accelerating emulation research could lead to advancements in the wider field of neuroscience possibly expediting medical innovations, cognitive enhancement, lie, detection technologies, and capabilities for psychological manipulation. As opposed to new IU, emulations might be more controllable due to a greater understanding of human abilities, behavior, and vulnerabilities additionally. Emulations are harder to tamper with due to the complexity of human brain. However, Bostrom criticizes these arguments by asserting that even with a better understanding of human behavior, the unpredictability of self-improving emulations might far outweigh the predictability of safe self-improving de novo AI. The narrative underpins two phases of transition towards artificial intelligence, a gradual shift to emulation and a subsequent leap to de novo AI. Concerns about the inherent risks are heightened by theorizing two such intelligence explosions. Computer scientist Stuart J. Russell fiercely criticizes the idea of superintelligence birthed from total brain emulation in his book Human Compatibles, labeling it a clear mistake due to inherent control issues. Advocacy for mind uploading isn't new, with pioneering endorsements stretching back to Marvek's 1970s work. He later rebrands it as transmigration. Notably, Ray Kurzweil, the engineering director at Google has consistently forecasted the eventuality of humans achieving digital immortality through whole brain uploads to computers. Pinpointing 2045 as a pivotal year, this prediction echoes in his 2013 speech at the Global Futures 2045 International Congress in New York. Several AI and neuroscience researchers, including the renowned Marvin Minsky, also championed mind uploading. Online platforms have been created to facilitate discussions on the subject, for instance. The Mind Uploading homepage developed by Joe Strout in 1993 and Mind Uploading Org, managed by Randall A. Cohen. The possibility of mind uploading as a life-saving medical technique is a key element of transhumanist beliefs with prominent figures such as Nick Bostrom. Forecasting its 21st century advent due to technological advancements mapped in Moore's Law. For a broader audience, Michio Kaku's documentary Sci-Fi Science Physics of the Impossible explores the possibilities of mind uploading and teletransportation using advanced technologies such as quantum entanglement and advanced mistetech. The discourse on brain transfer and the ensuing evolution of computers into sentient beings is addressed extensively in Beyond Humanity, Cyber Evolution and Future Minds by Gregory S. Paul Aldi Cox. Similarly, Richard Doyle in Wetwares. Experiments in post-vital living presents a shifted perspective on uploading, envisioning human-like artificial life forms seeking biological embodiment as part of their reproductive strategy.